Good morning and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Giselle Magana. Thank you to everyone who's been watching all of my videos so far. I really, really, really appreciate the support. As you can tell by the thumbnail, today we are going to be using... Oops. Today we... Today... Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use this Polaroid. I was gifted this like two years ago for my birthday so it's not a sponsored video hopefully one day i'll be sponsored by someone i don't know who hopefully someone so if you're thinking about getting a polaroid camera or a polaroid printer i definitely recommend you watch this video to see if this one is the right fit for you but yeah before i start the video though i really want to show you guys my flowers i got these flowers right before christmas i'm actually filming this on the first day of january you know 2022 um i don't know when i'm gonna post this honestly since school is about to start for me like it's gonna start soon again the spring semester and honestly i've had these flowers for over a week and they just look so beautiful like hold up let me show you i mean like look at them they are so full and so cute oh my god they smell so good i don't know exactly what the name of them are but i think these are my favorite ones now like i've always said that tulips are my favorite but just look at them like how could you not be in love with these look at them they're so cute they're so cute i can't like i literally can't they look so cute but anyways that's enough about my flowers um let's get straight into the video okay so first things first in order to use this polaroid printer you have to download the app it connects wirelessly so once you get the app you're gonna allow the app to have access to your photos and then you can select which photo you want to print this box right here this is the polaroid lab you're gonna select polaroid lab and then you're gonna choose what kind of polaroid you would like to take out let's say there's a photo of a sunset you took at the beach do you want it to just show up in one polaroid or do you want to do a double meaning that the photo will be printed out on two polaroids so if you're curious about what the polaroid film looks like this is it it is kind of big i will say the only con about this is that it's too big to put behind your phone case so if you want to put the polaroid right here this probably isn't the polaroid that you should be getting because it's just not going to fit there also another thing i do want to say that this polaroid film is pretty pricey so just keep that in mind if you want to purchase this polaroid printer okay so now we're going to do a bit of unboxing ASMR. It comes with some instructions, but honestly, I don't think I've ever opened these up. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. It is bigger, I would say, than probably a lot of the Polaroid printers out there. Also, one thing that you should know is that it has to be charged. If it's not completely charged, it's not going to be successful in printing out the photo. So just make sure to always charge it before using it didn't really think this through until i unboxed it i totally forgot that you have to charge it so i guess i'm just gonna have to wait until this charges so while i'm waiting for the polaroid printer to fully charge i decided why don't i show you some of my previous polaroids that i've printed out so you can kind of get a gist of the filter and also get to know me a little bit better so in this photo right here I was at my senior prom when I was in high school. I graduated in 2017. Now we have this Polaroid of myself in front of the Madison Square Garden. I took this on October 15 in 2019. I ended up going to see Post Malone when his new album came out. I like literally screamed my lungs out the entire time um next i have this photo which i took on november 12 2019 this is actually at a paint and pour paint and drink type of event go over there you paint and you also get a free drink this photo i took in front of a picnic basket in central park um i had tons of fun this photo i think is a really good example 
of what some of the cons might be of getting this Polaroid printer. The photo came out really green. I mean, let me just show you one more time. If you look at it again, it the photo tends to have a really green tint to it, which I wasn't really a fan of. I'm not sure if it was that I ended up getting a bad batch or not, but I also think that room temperature, um, where you're going to be printing your photos, affects the photo quality. Like, for example, this one too was from the same batch and I did print these out in the winter so maybe my room was cold and it affected the texture of the Polaroid. Yeah, this one also came out looking pretty green. This one I took in the Met. As you can see, the floor, which is beige, looks green here. So you might want to consider that before buying it. Also, I should stress again, I got this as a gift from my best friend two years ago so it's not a sponsored video it's an honest review on my experience with it okay so my printer is still charging it has one little circle which is still blinking but i really don't want to wait any longer it's already pretty late and my phone is about to die too so yeah i really thought this one through what you're gonna do is you're just gonna click this button right here and right down here are four little dots you can't really see it each dot represents how many polaroids you have so each polaroid box comes with eight films once you print out one photo the light is going to shut off and there's still going to be seven dots on and then that way you can tell how many films you still have inside so first things first what you're going to do is you're going to remove the cover it looks like this you're gonna remove your phone case cover as well because for some reason it prevents the photos from coming out in the best possible quality first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go on the app polaroid remember go on polaroid lab and then choose if you want a single double triple if you want to print nine photos i'm just going to select the photo that i want click next it's gonna show me what it will look like and then I'm gonna press the arrow at the bottom right before you print out the photo you have to select the type of film and since I'm using this one I make sure to click on it it has a little photo of what it looks like so you will not be confused when you do it so once you select the specific film that you're using which I'm using color film by the way you're gonna make sure that two things are done that your night shift is off and so is the true tone so now as you can see this is the photo that I want to print out those two dots have to perfectly align with the two dots on the Polaroid printer as you can see there are two dots right here those two have to align with the photo on the app as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carefully align it like this and then just carefully place it down and that little bring means that it's good to go so I'm just gonna click the red button and I'm just gonna carefully lift up the black part and then place it on the side make sure that the photo is facing down in the dark so it properly develops
menos creerme que entenderás tan fácilmente lo que ni yo mismo entiendo pero sin rodeos te digo en mi tono que no sé cómo vayas a comprender que imaginarte me lleva a volar a otro lugar no quiero despertar a mi manera te lo explico todo quizás muy pronto para decirte que cuando estamos solos miro a tus ojos y no puedo escapar Okay, so that's it for today's video. Honestly, I had a lot of fun and I hope that if you weren't considering or even thinking about getting a Polaroid printer that you are now because honestly, it's so much fun. Now I have an updated album full of wonderful memories. I absolutely love seeing how the Polaroids turned out and it just made me think about all the wonderful memories I made in 2021 and how many more beautiful memories I'm gonna make in 2022 but yeah that is it for today if you like this video please like it please comment and don't forget to subscribe I will be posting another video soon most likely in two weeks so if you miss me watch some of the videos that you haven't watched on my channel yet or re-watch some <laughs> but anyways thank you stay safe and have a wonderful week bye